everyone, welcome to Atari 37, and I'm reviewing this, which is Blue Beetle from the new Blue Beetle movie, and as you can see, it looks really cool, we got a nice clear view of him in box there, and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty great, I'm excited for this film, I always love Blue Beetle and Batman Brave and Bold, I'm super happy you see this in the movie, and um, yeah, he looks great, I love you got the movie logo up there, and on the back we have this really cool artwork of him, and um, yeah, let's get him out of box, and out of box, I gotta say, they have done an amazing job with this action figure, he looks so cool, I think the suit looks good in the movie too, and I think this is a perfect representation of the movie, you also get the trading card and the base and a bunch of accessories you also have a bio there from blue beetle from the movie so if you don't want spoilers maybe avoid it but I don't think it has any but the mask look at the mask the mask looks amazing and uh the blue looks great on him too but i really gotta say my favorite part about this is the wash that they put on this and the molded detail like seriously all these parts that aren't blue like i don't know if it's going to come up that well on camera but it's got all this like indented like molded detailing and patterns going around it and it just looks really good and the scarab looks really good too like i wish it kind of like had the wings or not the wings but i wish i had like uh the top parts of it out um but it doesn't i mean they're gonna do that on the wing version but still it would be cool if like he had like one that kind of like did that i don't know if that makes any sense uh, but i'll like put a picture in this of like what i'm talking about here because i'm going off subject um but yeah the detail on him is really cool and I love the boots and just again he looks really good now you also get his sword which is really cool because it's not just like one piece like or one painted piece like you have a lot of blue mix in there too and then you also have this cannon arm which is really cool um and then you also have his kind of like grabbing throwing weapons um which are really nice as well and you can hold both of them and it looks good I like the weapons you give him I think it's pretty cool and then his sword is awesome and the sword is really awesome. It just looks great. It's huge. It's awesome. It's exactly what you want it to be. Now, you also get the cannon arm. The way this works is you pop off one of his hands and pop it on there. Now, I cannot get this to pop onto the socket, like, once I've taken the hand out. I don't know why. It might just be mine, but I think it also might be because the hands on both of these are, like, really loose in terms of articulation. So, when I'm, like, trying to snap it in there, it just keeps moving. Um, I don't think there'll be a problem on all of these. I just think mine at the moment. I can probably pop it in there later. Just at the time of filming this, um, I kind of don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going out of the video. Now, you have free six to the head and 360 arms, you can swing out the shoulder, double joint elbows, and again, the 360 at the wrist, the legs kick forwards, backwards, and outwards, you have double jointed knees, the feet move up and down, and go side to side, and then you also have toe articulation, so pretty much what we're used to with McFarlane toys, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because I think they have a pretty good range of motion, um, and yeah, but overall, I love this, I think they did a great job with it, and I'm really excited for it, thank you for watching, please rate, like, and subscribe.